This is SCACsports.com, and joining us today from San Antonio, Texas, is the SCAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week. It is junior forward Anicia Richardson of the Trinity University Tigers. And uh, Anicia, first of all, uh, thank you so much for taking the time out and joining us today, and also congratulations on this honor. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Anicia, let's start with uh, this. Uh, this team, uh, after this past weekend, uh, has now won four games in a row. You guys have moved to four and two on the season. So, uh, you know, after starting the year zero and two, what has it done for this team's confidence to uh, come out and win four games in a row, and, and not to mention to win some uh, pretty close games throughout this little uh, four-game winning streak? Uh, it's done a lot for us, confidence-wise. You know, coming off that zero and two in Oregon was not the best but after winning four games in a row now we see that that was just the beginning of the season it just showed us we had time to grow and I think we have and we still have a lot to grow from where we are right now and like coaches doing this hard games to prepare us for a conference and the games have been close which is a little nerve-wracking and towards the last minutes of the game but you know it's I think close wins are more fun than blowouts, so I think it's good for us. And Asia, what's been really impressive with you guys starting 4-2 and two is you guys have yet to play a home game. <laughs> you finally have your first home game a little later this month, but uh, you have been on the road. You've had a road trip to Oregon. This past weekend you had a road trip to California. How have you guys been able to manage these road trips and, and find success? Uh... They've been a little hard, especially with the traveling and all the flights and stuff. But Coach said he's doing it on purpose, and like, I feel like it's going to work and prepare us for conference. So we just have that in mind, no matter how long we're on the planes and in the ho all the hotels and the weekends and stuff. But we just try to see the best of the situation and see that since we are being successful on the road then it should be even better at home so it makes us more excited for the home games well i was just that was kind of going to be my fault i mean tell me now your next game december 19th home opener against north park like you are very excited to get back on your home floor and play a game in front of your fans right oh yeah fans family new especially just like everyone's at our schools excited everyone's like oh we have a home game we have a home game on like december after finals, many guys might not be there, but for you that are, come and support, and, and it'll be fun to finally play in front of some people that we actually know that just isn't our family that traveled, so that should be fun. <laughs> Well, you guys had a uh, let's take a, let's focus on this past weekends of play. Uh, you guys beat Concordia last Monday. You had 25 points in that contest. You followed that up with 21 points against Chapman uh, last Friday night, and then you finished it up with another victory uh, over the Redlands, where you had uh, 15 points, I believe. Uh, Lawrence Splon leading the way with 20 points in that game. Uh, just tell me what were you able to do throughout the weekend? How were you able to be successful uh, and get into these games and, and really get get rolling? Uh, just being prepared for what we thought they would do. Like, we saw that they double teamed their post, and so, like, coach created plays for me that I could work around those double teams and triple teams, and that worked out really well, and the guards are doing a great job getting the ball into the post, and even when I am double teamed, the guards are, you know, easing up, easing the defense up a little bit on me when they make shots, which is awesome. So just going into the games, predicting their game plans and it working out for us. Yeah, tell me a little bit about the team effort uh, as well. Uh, you go back to the Chapman game. Uh, the team shot 50% from the field. You guys also forced 18 turnovers in that game. Uh, you forced, forced double-digit turnovers in all three of your wins uh, this past weekend. Uh, you put 81 on Concordia, a very large number offensively. Tell me about the team effort and, and what those what those group of girls were able to do uh, throughout the week. Defense was a big thing. We work on our press all the time. We press each other and practice all the time so that we know how to break it and, and we know how to play defense on each other. And I think our offense is good. So when we are pressing ourselves, I think that prepares us great for games. And um, I just think the team did a really good job making open shots and making clutch shots, like at big end ones this past weekend. They were awesome, got the team off the bench, and 
they helped us get the wins. This has been the SCAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week, Junior Ford and Nisia Richardson of the Trinity University Tigers. And uh, Nisia, we're off to our next segment. We call it Take 5. You should be used to this from last year. We're about to ask you five random questions, and we're going to start with this. Who is one of your favorite professional teams to follow? Dallas Mavericks, for sure. I love them. Okay, big Mavs fan. And this is my follow-up question is who is your favorite professional athlete? I think I know where you're going to be going with this, but I'll let you answer. Dirk Nowitzki all the way. I figured it was going to be that easy. <laughs> I mean, if you're a Mavs fan, I think most Mavs fans, it's all about Dirk. Yeah, of course. <laughs> all right, Nisa, you can sing one song. You've been chosen to like The Voice or American Idol, something like that where you get to sing in front of a bunch of people. Well, you can choose one song. What song would it be? The singing quality does not matter. Right now, Blank Space by Taylor Swift. That's a great song. I sing it all the time anyway, so. <laughs> it's one of the popular ones right now. Yeah. You can have any superpower in the world. Any superpower. What would you choose? Uh, flying. I would love to wow. fly. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And it's way faster than walking or running. Absolutely. I'd just fly to class. Fly to practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get you... Uh, We'll get you out on this final one. I believe this is number five. I kind of lost count. Okay. Who is one of the funniest, goofiest teammates on this trendy team? Grace Horn, for sure. She is right. crazy. Go ahead. No, she's crazy. She's so funny. She's always, not always loud, but when she is, it's worthwhile. Her best, she has the best karaoke. She does not care who is watching when she is singing a lot of favorite songs. It is, she is one to watch. What is, what is one of the songs she sings when she's doing karaoke? What's one of, what's one of the good ones she belts out? Oh, she's a, she's a Mumford and Sons song. Mumford and Sons fan, I mean. I don't really know the names of their songs, but right now, Take Me to Church by Hozier. She literally sings that every day. And it's still funny about two weeks later, but she sings it every day. <laughs> she loves that song. <laughs> this has been the SCAC Women's Basketball Player of the Week, Junior Ford and Nisia Richardson of the Trinity University Tigers. And Nisia, uh, congratulations on this honor. We appreciate you taking the time out to join us today. And we wish you and the rest of the team uh, good luck throughout the rest of the season. And enjoy that first home game in a couple weeks. Thank you.